welcome back to the channel and if you're new here my name is Nicole White Day and this is the Live in Oki Style channel. So this past weekend me and Matthew made a video about um, like getting prepared for opening season for archery next weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and there will be many more of me and Matthew together in these videos. So if you like the videos please subscribe, give a like, comment down below and Let's get to the video. <laughs> you guys, look at that. You see that? We were just driving by and we found a dead rattlesnake. He's massive. And I've never seen any rattlesnakes in this neck of the woods. <laughs> This is the hardest part of <laughs> getting preparations done. Loading up all the corn feed. Uh, the old blue truck. The old blue truck. Now, for those of you who don't know how to drive a standard, you need to learn. Yes. So, for all y'all out there in YouTube land, this is a piece of property that my grandpa owns. It's 80 acres and it's called, most appropriately, the 80. The 80. This place is actually recovering from a uh, fire that's spread through here uh, earlier this summer. So. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah. So, I don't know how good the deer hunting is going to be this year or if the deer moved out of the area because of the fire, but we're going to be giving it a try this year. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Doing that spot here. Had this feeder for probably well over 10 years. Same. Yeah. Ew. For those of you who don't know, Nicole is absolutely terrified of spiders. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope, no spider webs. Maybe a little bit of a problem come deer season. How come? Because where there is woods, there, there is spiders. spiders. Yeah, I could tell. Ran into a spider web. <laughs> Before I do anything, I want to make sure this battery still works. It's a clock. That'll do. Set it for two seconds because I don't want to run through corn so fast. Yeah. Even though we're putting two bags in it, you can never run out of corn too quick. Nope. Corn goes fast. And corn is expensive. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Ding, 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 chow time. I'm assuming it was really full before that, huh? Oh yeah, it was up to almost about that willow tree. Dang. Yeah. During the summer, whenever we don't use our feeders, wasps like to build nests in them. And that is no bueno. Especially when you try to get them up and running for the first time in almost a whole year. 
you open the door and all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> or like your grandpa was saying a squirrel jumped out at him yeah that too whoa look there's a bass right there oh really see it i don't know if the camera will be able to see it but yeah i see it right there yep i don't know oh there's some more up there there's another yep. one now, I don't know if y'all can see them, but there's some fish right there, and there was a bass just right over here. Oh, there he is again. Huh, we ought to come fishing down here one day. And for those of you who don't know this area, we do have hogs around here, but that is not from hogs. That is from my grandpa putting a plow on his tractor and getting out here and plowing all this and he is 82 years old so shout out to him because he's still up he's still out here getting it done yep we just have yet to put any seed in the food plots because it is so dang dry out here yeah we haven't gotten any rain we haven't had any rain down here all summer well, not all summer, but maybe it rained once or twice this whole summer. It's been really dry. Ding, ding, ding. Chow time. A lot of memories on this old piece of property. Place where you killed your first deer? Now that's a piece of property I actually killed my second deer on, but. Ah, second deer. Oh, oh. It's pretty dried up. Yep. Huh? Look at all this. There's huh. plenty of tracks. Oh, yeah. Lots of frogs, too. Big there. Big old looking frog. Yep, they're here. Definitely. <laughs> Little frog. <laughs> Do not quote me on this, but I've heard that whenever you see a deer track, if the hoods, if the hooves are spread a little further apart, then it's a buck track. But if they're in the shape of a V, then it's more than likely a doe track. Don't quote me on that. I've heard that, but I do not know if it's true. So now what about that track? So this track probably a buck track because it's spread, spread out, out a little bit who knows could be a pig track it looks a little more oval yeah but if I can find that track this definitely this definitely is a deer track yeah and because it's spread apart like that a little bit it's probably it may be a buck track I've heard that but do not quote me on that what about all them frogs yep yeah, they're definitely here. As always, there's always deer back here. She is so lovely, ain't she? And I can hear my dad rolling up through the woods in his side by side. I don't know about you guys, but I think I am the luckiest guy in the world to have her. And I'm the luckiest girl in the world to have you. Aww. And there be my father. My car's Got all the side by sides. Working? Big drop. Oh, we're going down that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this is living out side. That's debris from the 
my dad's birthday today. He is 59. Happy birthday to him. Happy, happy birthday. you guys that's all for this week be sure to uh, tune in we have more videos coming uh, next weekend is opening weekend of archery season so we're gonna have a video on that so without further ado if you guys like the videos make sure you like subscribe and comment down below and as always keep living Obi style